Jody Dice here, Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're going to look at Karani Sounds Polyscape. Polyscape is an awesome boutique collection of synth pads and soundscapes that if you're someone that's trying to make ambient music or film music, this is something that is probably a must-have because it really has a great tasteful collection of different uh, presets and sounds. Today I'm going to have a look at this and I'm going to show you some of my favorite presets. I'm going to show you a little bit how to use the synth and then I'm going to just show you a small song that I made and hopefully you enjoy that too. So let's get straight into it. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. I've loaded up a preset called uh, Soraya Fields, and uh, I'm just gonna play a little small chord. It's really lush sounding, um, definitely, definitely cinematic, and you can use that as a pad. Um, I really like this color scheme here. I know that's not part of the sound of the synth, but it really goes a long way to making me want to use this more. Um, having something nice to look at can be good for inspiration. Um, there's two there's two controls here on this main page, uh, pole and expression. I guess in expression you can get a little more life out of your synth um, by automating that. And uh, the pole is a cool feature that I'll explain a bit later. But uh, essentially it mixes between um, the different synth modules that you'll see in this edit window. So in the edit window you've got these four different modules and each of those is kind of its own synth source. So I think there's about 40 synth sources in, uh, in this polyscape. So you can really get really crazy and make some amazing sounds. Um, for the demonstration purpose, I'm just gonna turn off a few of these. And uh, what we have left is this piano agent sound. Very cool. And if you wanted to change that, they've got all these different um, awesome sounds in here. Um, I think we're gonna keep it as it is for now. So we've got three different options uh, for each uh, module. Uh, the first one is kind of the attack and release. So you can you could take the release way shorter if you wanted to have a kind of cut sound. But because this is kind of a pad library, it's, I think it's intended to have a long release like that. This next one is um, this prism with this kind of light coming in and out. It has all these uh, preset EQs that are really easy to use. So if you wanted to have a high pass or a low pass on your sound, you could do that quite easily. There's the high pass. Low pass is already active. If I turn it off, you can hear that as well. Very cool. And then there's these sends to this beautiful um, space. So you have to turn these on to hear it, but check this out. That's pretty really lush. Um, I really like it. And then the final one down here is this, this is maybe the coolest thing, is to have this different pulsing engine where you can uh, cause it to pulse in eighth notes or quarter notes. And I can imagine you'd get some really cool ideas if you're automating this, like, like have it starting out with nothing and then you really build tension in your scene or if you're in your dance song. So that's a cool feature to have. And imagine if you have four different modules and they're all pulsing in different times, you could get some really cool effects. The next thing is uh, over here in the main, you can actually mix between the two sound, the two sides of the, the modules with this pole option. So if I go, this would be the this side of it. And then if I go back, it's gonna be these piano agents. So pretty cool. Finally, we've got the master, which is pretty straightforward. It's just got a, a EQ and compression and limiting. So if you wanted to really just finish off your sound, this is where you'd go. So with that said, I'm just gonna play a couple more presets before I show you guys um, a song that I made using this stuff. Um, so let's check it out. Next up, I have this Neutrino preset. This has got to be one of my favorites. Um, it definitely reminds me a bit of the Uncut Gems soundtrack. Uh, check this out. Pretty awesome. With very little work, you can get a really nice sound. Um, and you can tell that these have been recorded in the greatest quality, you know, using awesome gear, and that the Karani team is, you know, knows what they're doing. Another one I wanna show you guys is this uh, analog sun patch. This is nice as well. So check out this.
All right, guys, another one I want to show to you is this uh, Jump Bras pad. I'm guessing it's gotten its name from the Van Halen song, Jump. But when I was playing around with this one, it sounded to me a little bit like, uh, like a Michael Jackson song. The... So I was surprised to find there's all kinds of hidden gems in here. Like, not just synth pads. There's uh, vintage synths. I think there's even some things that are sampled from like v old VHSs and stuff. So guys, I want to give you guys a little trick right now that I don't normally give away, but um, you may find that the release time on these pads is a bit too extreme for your purposes. If that's the case, um, I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I have. You can do this in Contact Player. If you go to the Voices um, section and you limit your number of voices to say, say you're going to be playing four note chords, every time you play another four notes, it's going to cancel the previous four notes, so there's going to be an abrupt cutoff. That's, um, it's called voice stealing, and it's a cool effect, um, and I do like to use it, so I'm going to demonstrate you guys this pad with the voice stealing effect. If you're someone who has rapidly changing harmonies in your song and you don't want to have this kind of muddy thing of the release times uh, cancelling or overlapping on each other, using this voice stealing technique is really great. So definitely try that out, not just on this synth but on other ones too. So with that said guys, I want to play you the track that I made and I'm hoping you like it. It's just using presets. Um, I use a lot of the mod wheel to kind of uh, modulate the sound but other than that there's not much going on. I hope you like the sound. Um, I thought it was a cool demonstration of just what's in here. Um, you could use this all over the place. In this track, I've only used just instruments from Polyscape. Um, you could add all kinds of percussion and you know, like little, um, like a piano as well. Is, it goes really well. I try to just stay true to the library in this one, but these things work really well with other sounds as well. And I've already put a few of them in my productions. Guys, to close this off, I just want to say it's a strange time out there right now. And you know, one of the silver linings, if there are any, from what's going on is that we can spend some bit more time in isolation working on music. So I really hope you guys are doing a good. And um, if you get a chance to get a hold of this library, this might be a cool one to spend some time with while you're, you know, spending some time in isolation. So I'm hoping these videos will keep coming to you and we can keep learning together. And I'll see you next time.